Aloha everyone, it is Sarah and this week I'm on the beautiful island of Hawaii and I'm going to show you the best places to eat here. I'm talking restaurants, I'm talking cafes, I'm talking breweries. We're going to cover it all on where to eat and what to eat when you get there. Now this is a complimentary video to my five day guide to the island of Hawaii so make sure to watch that um, when you watch this one too and don't forget to get my printable itinerary that goes along with this that tells you exactly how you can plan out your trip here. All right without further ado let's get to our first restaurant. One of the local hotspots here in Hilo, Hawaii is a Hawaiian style cafe and I just ordered way too much food for one person but luckily Louie's here with me so maybe we can finish like a fourth of this. This spot has been open since 2012 and they've actually won the best local moco since 2015 on the island of Hawaii. You can see this plaque here for this dish. What it is is rice topped with gravy, you have a beef patty, an egg all together. It's something that um, Hawaiians have for breakfast. I also got something that this spot is known for. It is their massive pancakes. I mean, this pancake, it's probably like nine inches long. Their signature pancake is the haupia pancake. A lot of the time people can split this between like three or four people, but you know what? We're gonna do it all today. You can't come to Hawaii without trying poke. After all, that is a signature Hawaiian dish. So what I have here is the Wailea bowl. So let's give everything a shot. Oh my God. This is like the size of, this is bigger than my head. Mm. <laughs> Tastes like coconut cream. Yeah. Mm. I love this. This reminds me, and some people might kill me for saying this, but when I was little, um, one of the treats my mom would make us was Hamburger Helper. I loved it. I wasn't allowed to have it because it was bad for you, but it actually tastes a lot like Hamburger Helper, which I'm a big fan of. So for me, this is perfection. It's savory. It's juicy. If you saw my Chinatown video, you know how I feel about shrimp. So I'm not going to try that one, <laughs> but I'm going to go for the ahi tuna. Mmm. Oh my god. Whoa. That is delicious. I'm going to try the garlic chicken. I'm just going to grab a bite like this. Bro. That's amazing. Wow. So good. It's like crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Really has that Asian flair to it. Okay, this is the order. Number one, number two, number three. All were delicious. So don't miss this spot, local hot spot. That's where the locals go, that's where the good food is. It's that simple. I'm here at Kamuela Provision Company. This is a waterfront restaurant. It was rated one of the 50 best restaurants that are outdoors in the USA and it is no joke. The views are stunning here. This restaurant is part of the Hilton Waikoloa Village so when you come here I recommend asking for the Alihi seating. That is right in front of the beautiful view. You can come during sunset. It's the best time of day and with that you get a glass of champagne and a amuse-bouche. So today we have a lobster dish the chef decides what he wants to make um, each day. So this can change completely. Um, very, very beautiful dish. Let's take a bite of it. Yum. Wow, so fresh. The avocado adds this nice creaminess. So I ordered two signature dishes. This is their ginger mon chong, and this has cilantro, carrot, green onion, kabayaki, peanut oil, sushi, rice cake. All of this is caught locally, by the way. That's what the cool thing about this restaurant is. Again, they look towards local producers and farmers to source all of their ingredients. Mmm. It's so tender. It kind of like melts in your mouth. I'm going to get a little bit of that rice cake below it. It's sushi rice, by the way. Really tasty um, Asian flavors in this dish. Really yummy. I definitely recommend ordering this one. This is their Mahi Mahi Lao Lao. Lao Lao is a traditional Hawaiian um, dish. So I've never had it before. But this one has 
grilled mahi, molokai sweet potato ganache, taro leaf puree, bok choy, and lomi tomato. Oh yeah, that just falls right apart. All the flavors in one. This is a really subtle white fish, really fresh. It kind of reminds me of the ocean a bit. <laughs> Obviously it's a fish. Um, but both of these dishes are t delicious. So highly recommend it. Uh, when you're coming here, you know it's always important to try local cuisine. And um, this is a great one to try. You can't have a meal like this without going for dessert. So what we did is we got the mudslide. Now this is a coffee ice cream cake with Oreo, which is one of my favorite things on the bottom, adding that nice crispness to it. And then we have marshmallow right on the top, which they put a flame over so you can see that nice burntness to it. Burntness? Is that a word? All right, let's get right to it though. Yeah. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Really yummy. Perfect way to end the day. restaurant they're most known for their poke so I had to get a poke while I'm here now omeke actually means bowl in Hawaiian so most of the dishes here are actually served in bowls which is my favorite out of all the dishes because that's what soup is served in which is my favorite food this spot's most known for their poke and they've won tons of awards for it including their chef Nakoa Pabre Pabre has twice been awarded with the winner overall of the most prestigious Sam Choice poke contest and his restaurants are voted best poke in Hawaii. So to start, I had to get a cocktail. Now they have uh, a few different specialty cocktails, but one of the things I want to point out is on Wednesdays they have happy hour all day long. So really good deal. Nice to come here on a Wednesday. Let's get into the real situation here. They're poke. They have many different flavors of poke. I got their hottie. Now this is their ahi tuna poke. I'm excited. This is award-winning poke. Oh my god. Whoa. That's the best poke I've ever had in my life. Heaven. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is their umeke mixed plate. So with this you get a choice of any of the two entree items and one house side dish. So what we did was the kalabi short ribs. Mm. Wow. If you look closely, you'll see these toasted sesame seeds on this, which gives it a really nice uh, nutty flavor. And the beef is just so tender. I mean, it falls apart in your mouth. One last thing I want to point out here is this salad, which is actually a local vegetable. Mm. It has a nice crunch to it. It kind of tastes like a seaweed salad, but without that ocean flavor. Really lovely. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here at Kuliana Rum Shack, and we just got off of this amazing two hour helicopter tour. So I am quite starving. Now, if you want to see how you can do that helicopter tour, too, check out my five-day itinerary to the island of Hawaii. But let's talk about this rum shack. Now, this is really special because all of the rum here is produced from 40 varieties of ko, which is a rare Hawaiian sugar cane, right here on this island. They make three different versions of rum. I got their Mai Tai, which is a classic Hawaiian uh, type of cocktail. You get that sweetness, almost like a caramelized flavoring. It's really nice. They're also known for uh, food which is why we're here for lunch, because we're starving. So, two dishes I want to feature today. This one right here is their roast pork and gravy. It's slow roasted pork, sliced and pan fried, served with steamed white rice, sauteed veg of the day, rich home style pan -ju gravy, and topped with frizzle fried onions. This is just so gorgeous. Second dish we have here are the fish tacos. These fish tacos, have three fillets seasoned with their signature hot ele seasoning and lightly pan fried with pickled slaw, island relish, and spicy aioli. Mm. Mm. That fish is cooked perfectly and it's a little spicy. It's definitely a subtle fish. The pineapple adds a nice sweetness 
really, really yummy. This is their signature dish here, so I had to get it. See how that pork just kind of like falls apart? That's how you know it's been cooked perfectly. Wow. Mm. So tender, so savory. I'm not one to normally like pork, but this is delicious, and I'm so glad I ordered this dish for myself. All right, what I love about this is it's slightly crunchy on the outside, but really nice and tender on the inside. Kind of reminds me of a well-made uh, chicharron for those people that have had chicharrones out there. Mm. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this, very good. One of the other things that Kona Brewing Co. has is a restaurant right here on site. Now, if you're watching this, uh, I did a brewery tour that I included in my five-day itinerary to Hawaii. So make sure you check that out. That video is linked below. But let's get into the food because the food here is really tasty. Um, we ordered their pizza, which is actually made from scratch every day using the grain left over from their beer, which I think is very sustainable of them. That's really smart. I also got two drinks here. Now, Ryan, the brewmaster, did recommend this beer, which you can tell we drank a little bit already because we were waiting for the pizza to arrive. So this is their Ohi Fresh IPA, and I think it's really cute because they actually serve it with a little hop inside. So let's give it a try. Very traditional IPA flavor to that. You get that maltiness, which is nice. Very refreshing and definitely higher in alcohol. So if you're looking to get a little toasted, make sure you get that one. This is their seltzer. And this is a pineapple, cherry, and orange seltzer. It almost tastes like fruit punch to me. Um, but let's just get into the pizza, because your girl is starving, okay? So this is their pahui hui spicy chicken. I got a half and a half pizza, so to each side of this pizza is one of their um, popular orders. So the pahui hui spicy chicken is made with homemade ranch dressing, mozzarella, herb chicken, and sweet onions, topped with a crumbled gorgonzola and a drizzle of locally made hot sauce. One of the cool things about this spot is with each um, dish, they actually recommend a beer to pair with it, which I think is really smart because you want to get the full experience when you're at Kota Brewing Co. Mm, this is so good. It's creamy, it's tangy, it's a little bit spicy. The dough, I'm surprised that they use the, the grain, the leftover grain from it because it almost, it tastes like regular dough. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more crumbly than New York pizza, but still super, super tasty. So this one is their Hawaiian luau. This has black sand porter barbecue sauce, kalua pork, mozzarella, shiv, and sweet onions topped with a pineapple salsa. Look at how pretty that is. I just love how colorful it is. Mmm. All right, let's take a bite. So this one's really yummy. You have that goat cheese on here, which adds like a pungent, creamy flavor uh, in a good way, and it's really, really tasty. And then also with the pineapple and the pork, it's nice. This nice, sweet, savory balance to it. We are here at Kilauea Lodge restaurant. This spot is award-winning and everything they serve in here is locally uh, grown by local farmers, both land and sea. Um, I have two dishes that I want to showcase here. Right here, this is their fresh fish sandwich and today it's ahi tuna, which I am a big fan of. Um, caught locally again, looks absolutely delicious. And then we have the farmer's burger, which is made with grass-fed beef from a local farm down the street. And they have cheddar cheese, we have a little bit of bacon, um, and then side salads, or you could get uh, some, you know, french fries, but we're trying to be healthy today. But one of the lovely things is they have actually a um, iced tea. Um, this is their pineapple iced tea, really sweet, nice and tart, definitely recommend that. Let's go to the grass-fed beef, some pickles on the top, uh, tomato, onion, then we have an egg in here as well, cheddar cheese, bacon, you got that grass-fed beef um, below it. I feel like this is gonna be the champ, you guys. Look at this. Oh my god. Mm. 
the farmer's burger. Don't forget it. Incredibly tender. Um, the flavors is so savory, cheesy. Um, the beef is just like melting your mouth. Oh my god. Mahalo for watching. If you like this video, remember to check out the complimentary video that goes along with it where I show you how to have the perfect five-day vacation here on the island of Hawaii. And you can get the principal itinerary to bring along with you so you can plan with ease. Remember to watch my other travel videos and I will see you next time.